procrastination. Are you a procrastinator? Have you been caught procrastinating recently? It almost sounds like a dirty word. I think we're all guilty of a bit of procrastination. We know we have things to do. We know we have a job to do. We know we have a business to develop. We know we have actions that we need to take to make things grow. It's like plants. I just looked at my plants this morning and thought, if I don't water them, how do I expect them to grow? If we don't do the simple things we have to do, the little tasks, the little jobs, the learning, the education, how do we expect to grow ourselves? How do we expect our business to grow? How do we expect our job to develop? Yes, of course, there's times when we can think, oh, I don't feel like I have the energy, I don't have the time. Have that break, but get focused again. I saw an article yesterday where the guy was describing how, um, oh, don't take action because we don't feel like doing it. It was just stop, just, just go and do it. Keep doing it, regardless of how you feel. Keep doing it. It'll produce results. It will produce results. It's like watering our plants. Simple, whether it's a flower in your garden or a flower in the house. How's it expected to grow if we don't put water on it? How's it expected to grow if it doesn't get a bit of sunlight? We just have to keep doing the simple things that we know we have to do. Do them diligently. And we will harvest the fruit. That's a fact. So it works for the plants and the flowers and the vegetables. It'll work for us. Keep the faith, keep on keeping on. Little steps, whatever it takes. Let's avoid the procrastination.